let's take a look at ratios and proportions. Do these ratios form a proportion? Well, let's look at those vocabulary words. Ratios are fractions that relate two different parts to each other. A proportion is two ratios that are equal. Okay, if the ratios are equal to each other, that's when you would call it a proportion. So let's see, we have three chocolates to six gummies, and we want to see if that forms a proportion with one chocolate to two gummies. So let's set this up with chocolate over gummies and see what we can see. So three chocolates to six gummies would be a three to six ratio. Our question is, is that equal to a one to two ratio, right? Notice we set it up as chocolate over gummies on both sides. Now in this case, you might be able to look at these numbers since they're relatively small and say, well, three is exactly half of six. So three over six should be equal to one over two, right? So that makes sense that these would be equal. If the numbers were a little harder to tell just from looking at them, if you weren't able to see that one reduces to the other, right? If I reduced my fraction of three to six, I'd get one over two. Another way to check is to cross multiply. If your ratios are in proportion, when you cross multiply, you would get the same number on both sides. If they are not in proportion, when you cross multiply, you would get two different numbers that are not equal to each other. So let's take a look at how we would do this with cross multiplication. If I cross multiply, three times two gives me six. If I cross multiply on the other side, six times one gives me six. And we can see that six is equal to six, so that means that yes, those ratios are in proportion, or those ratios are equal to each other. Do these ratios form a proportion? Well, these are the same numbers we saw just a moment ago, right? Three to six, we just saw was equal to one over two. Do these ratios form a proportion? Two chocolates to six gummies and one chocolate to two gummies. Well, let's see, if we set these up as chocolate over gummies, our ratio of chocolates to gummies would be two to six. And we wanna see, is that equal to a ratio of one chocolate to two gummies? And looking at this, they do not look like they're going to be equal, right? Because two out of six is not one half. Half of six would be three, so that would have to be three out of six. Now, if you wanted to check using your cross multiplication, if you cross multiplied here, you could say two times two gives me four. And if I cross multiply on the other side, six times one gives me six. And then it's really clear to see that four is not equal to six, right? That's our symbol for not equal to. So that means that no, the ratios are not in proportion. Okay, do the ratios form a proportion? Three chocolates to six gummies, I'm sorry, three chocolates to nine gummies, is that in proportion or equal to one chocolate to three gummies? Okay, and this looks pretty good because if you reduce three over nine, you would get one third, right? Three goes into three once, and three goes into nine three times. So yes, they should be in proportion. If you wanted to cross multiply, you could say three times three gives me nine. When I cross multiply on the other side, nine times one gives me nine. So yes, they are equal to each other or in proportion. Do these ratios form a proportion? $1 for three boxes, $3 for six boxes. Okay, well, let's set this up as dollars over boxes. Okay, one to three would be our dollar to box ratio here. Is that equal to three dollars to six boxes? Okay, and you can see that these are not going to be equal because three is half of six, right? Three goes into three once and three goes into six twice. So three over six would be equal to one half, not one third. If you like the cross multiplying way, you could check it like this. One times six gives me six, and three times three gives me nine, 
And then you can see clearly 6 is not equal to 9, so no, they are not in proportion. Okay, do the ratios form a proportion? $3 for 4 tickets, $6 for 12 tickets. Well, let's set this up as dollars over tickets. So my ratio of dollars to tickets would be 3 to 4. Is that equal to my ratio of 6 to 12? Okay, well, if we cross multiply, 3 times 12 would give us 36. And when we cross multiply here, 4 times 6 would give us 24. So those are not equal to each other. 36 is not equal to 24. So no, they are not in proportion. Okay, do the ratios form a proportion? $1 for two tons, so that would be a one to two ratio. Is that equal to $3 for four tons or a three to four ratio? Okay, well to find out, let's cross multiply. One times four gives us four. When we cross multiply on the other side, two times three gives us six. So they are not equal to each other or not in proportion.